quick tips yeah. here on how to hook up a, a mode system to an MZC. It's really easy. So you're going to need a couple pieces. These are the pieces you need. You need at least a mode base. Put the iPod into, obviously. Mode base adapter to go from the mode base into the MZC. You're going to need a PS3 power supply to power everything. And then, of course, you're going to need one of our MZC models. Any of them will do. All right, so to hook it up, couldn't be simpler. You're going to get a piece of Cat5, go from the mode base into the adapter port. You're going to plug that into the iPod base section of the, uh, the uh, mode base adapter. Then you're going to plug in your power supply into the power port on the mode base adapter. You're going to want to get your audio cable and plug it from the line out on the mode base adapter into whatever source you're using on the MZC. We'll use source one. Then you're going to want to get a CAT5 going from your mode base adapter to carry that metadata from the expansion port on the mode base adapter into the expansion port on duh, 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 your MZC. And that's it. That's all you need to do to connect them. There's just a few more things you want to do before you go to Easy Tools. You're going to want to check the address. Come over here. The, the address on there. This little address wheel, wherever the arrow is pointing, that was, is what your address is you're going to set up into Easy Tools. A lot of people get confused because there's a little number on the front. That's not your address. That's just the source ID. And you can change the source ID to whatever source you want on the MZC. That way, if you have maybe more than one iPod, you can have one say one, one say two, and the customer's going to know which one's source one and which one's source two. And if you want to add another mode base, all you have to do is just take another set of mode base, mode base adapter, and audio cables and just stack them right on top. Just plug them right in there on top. It'll line up and then you just plug that into whatever source you want. It'll say source 2. And again, you're going to want to make sure that the address on the mode base is different than the, mode the address on the first mode base. Each one has to have their own address. And that's all you need to do. Now, let's go to Easy Tools. Okay, so here we are in our program. We're going to go and uh, click on our source setup. And as you can see over here, we have all of our sources set up. And with our default program, we actually already have iPod set up in here as uh, defaulted address 1. Now, as we saw from our mode base there, it was uh, address 8 was what our, our regular mode base was set up to. And the one we added actually had a address of looks like D. So we're going to make our first one eight. Then we're going to make this second source here an iPod. Let's make it iPod 2. We're going to make this one D, just like that. And then we're going to apply. It's going to tell us, hey, do you just change some things? Is that okay? And of course it is. You see here there's an option box, a little option box right there. You can go to base aux in or adapter aux in. We'll talk about that a little bit later. This is if you're, what you're going to do if you want to make the uh, the base auxiliary in available or the adapter auxiliary in available. If you do, you're just going to want to select one and then put in the name for whatever it is. Like this one I'll put in CD player. And if we apply that, you'll see in your source setup, well, guess what? There's a little subsource there now available called CD Player. Uh, well, if we go down here into Zone 1 and click on our mode keypad, you'll see right there we have our iPod, our subsource CD Player, and iPod 2 already set up. Now, you'll see right here that iPod actually already has its button set up, and this is in the default program we have this for you. So the previous song, next song, play and pause, all that stuff's already there, but it's not in iPod 2, so let's go ahead and add it right now. So let's add play, pause, most popular of them all. If you click up here in the command library, then go to the speakercraft brand, and bring up the mode folder, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different stuff for with using a remote. The one we want to control the mode base is mode base. Double click on that, you'll see all the commands we have available, including Play, pause right there. So we'll add that one down there. You'll see it under Button Properties. Click Next Song, and so on and so forth. 
previous song. These little buttons up here, a lot of people don't know what to do with those. What we suggest is menu up and menu down 5%. What that's going to do is, is kind of flip through a page on the front of the uh, the the mode uh, display. So if they're going through you know a list of you know thousands of artists and stuff like that, they can just hit one button and flip to another page. Makes things really easy. And that's all you need to do to set it up in programming. Set your addresses, set your sources, and if you want, add those little commands down there. Just make things easier. And there you go. That's it. All right. So let's check our program. See if it worked there. And look, there you go. iPod one, iPod two, Sean Bachelor's iPod, and Sean Bachelor's iPhone, right there. And uh, if you look on the back here, if you kind of get up in here, this is those auxiliary ins that I was talking about. There's an auxiliary in on the mode base, and there's an auxiliary in on the mode base adapter. So these great little iPods here don't actually take up a source. You can have, you can, uh, have these in addition to your regular MCC system. So uh, if you have any questions, just email us at techtips at speakercraft.com, and uh, have a great day. Watch it.